In this video, I'm going to be explaining Backrooms Level 18.1, also known as the Lucid Abyss, which is a crazy name by the way, that's pretty cool. This is a sub-level of a very famous and nostalgic level, level 18, which if you don't know, that is the level that kind of throws you into childhood memories and makes you walk through them. Places like old playgrounds, old elementary schools, and all that stuff. This sub-level is what happens if you stay too long in that level, and when the nightmares begin to infiltrate the memories. I promise you, you do not want to go to this level. It is very dangerous, very psychologically dangerous as well. And without further ado, or any more yapping on, Let's get to the video, shall we? Also, leave a like if you want to see more sub-levels. I love these things. Hopefully you do too. Level 18.1 is a backwards, scary, and unnerving level. The first sentence of the page describes it as the antithesis to all that is beloved and treasured. So that is a crazy way to start off a level, so let's just see what goes on after. 18.1 takes the appearance of one of your fond memories, but then it goes and corrupts that memory and turns its appearance into an abomination. A nightmare, if you will. I'll explain fully how that happens throughout this video, but let's just start from the beginning. When you get sent to level 18.1, you'll be entered into a beautiful and surreal environment made up of your most fond memories. At first, the level could take place in your house, in your old school, in an old playground, in the woods that you used to play in as a child. Everything in this level looks like a dreamscape. There's these vibrant colors and these bright, blurry light bursts. This entire level feels like it's a hallucinogen, like you're going crazy or you're tripping on something. Essentially, it kind of feels like those dream core pictures, but with a fully explorable environment. The sky above these scenes that you'll get sent back to is always blue and always has big, white, puffy clouds. It's all very staticky and dreamlike. And each of the locations that are in this level are combined together in decently unnatural ways. Like, if you have memories of a bowling alley and a school and a playground, all three, they'll be merged together. Like, you could walk out of the bowling alley and then walk out the front door of your school and be at the playground. That's how this level is formed. Walking through these memories will be very similar at first to the normal level 18. In fact, you probably won't even realize that you're in a sub-level. You won't think anything's wrong until a shift happens in front of you. You see, you'll be walking around these liminal and dreamy places with these vibrancies and these lifelike features, and then you'll see the surroundings in this level start to grow dark and lose all the color and vibrancy they just had. The sun and the blue sky will turn into a moon and a dark sky, and this awful, horrible feeling of dread will creep up on you into a sense of paranoia. The environments you're exploring will get less and less light, and the light bulbs and the sun and all that light will just go away, and you'll almost be completely blind in the level. You'll feel like something is sniffing around you, something is touching you, something is everywhere, but you can't see it. All these scenes that you just explored will have nothing in it that you recognize. It'll all be dark and dangerous places. They'll still look vaguely familiar, but you know deep down that it's not your memory. These places will then begin to show you your past trauma. All of it will be realized right before your eyes. And once more and more of these nightmares start to creep in and creep in slower and slower, your mental state, your physical state will begin to crumble right before you. So what are these nightmares? What do they entail? What are they? All that stuff. The nightmares usually manifest themselves in several different ways. One is that they could manifest themselves in your biggest phobias or fears that will be realized right in front of you in your memories. So if you hate spiders or something, you might manifest big spiders crawling all over your childhood memories around you. If you hate shadows, then you'll see shadow entities dashing around the windows and in the rooms you're in while you're walking around your house or your school or whatever nostalgic memory you're inside of. It's really personalized horror. It's similar to level 666, but it's actually worse because this horror takes place inside of what was supposed to be a nostalgic dream, a very calming place, but now it's overrun with these awful things. Once the darkness comes and the level begins to be more and more corrupted, you'll start to feel hopeless and insignificant and alone. You'll just stop seeing any way out of it and you'll feel like you're sinking deeper and deeper into these nightmares that you won't be able to escape. This is all a part of the level's plan though, to try to trap you in and physically consume you. 
So make sure you do everything you can to ignore these feelings of paranoia, ignore the sadness, ignore the being scared, even though it'll be hard because your fears will be right in front of you. Just stay as calm as you physically can. The level has been described by survivors of it as a malevolent force, as if something is controlling it or something is literally making it as bad as it can be just to harm you. The entire level just drains your psyche and your sanity and all of that will deteriorate the longer you're inside of it. And overall, your mental state will just collapse. The level also might cause you horror and pain in other ways as well. You see, the document mentions on rare occasions that instead of you currently going through the nightmare, you might be forced to actually witness something else. For example, you might be forced to watch as your past self is being tormented. Maybe from a traumatic experience or something, you'd be forced to watch it without being able to move. You'll be unable to get closer or talk to your past self in any way. You're kind of just stuck at a distance watching your younger self be dismantled, whether it's you know physically, uh, emotionally, or psychologically. You'll be unable to do anything about it. And of course, this will cause your current self to feel even more guilty, more powerless, and more sad. This could be a part of the level's personalized horror, or it could be real, we're not really sure. But it's very rare that this might happen to you, but if it does, you might never leave. Now, I know it doesn't sound like it could get worse than watching your past self be physically torn apart by these nightmares, but it probably will. But what we do know from these nightmares is that these scenes of your childhood and stuff, they're not, they're not empty. Entities do exist here that are not a part of the delusions. These exist in the level always, no matter who comes here. They typically manifest themselves as beings that are off in the distance with weird glowing red eyes and just very barely visible bodies. These are spirits or demons of some sort, as it seems, and nothing is known about them, but they manifest in almost everybody's dreams and nightmares inside this level. They don't physically come up to you or anything, but they do look pretty creepy just kind of standing over there in the corner. Level 18.1 is also full of things like auditory hallucinations. They're very common as well, and you'll hear strange echoing and distortions all the time, especially when the nightmares begin to creep in. A strange community exists in this level. There really isn't a community, kind of. It's more of a place that might trick you to believe that you're not alone. It's known among wanderers as the Mysteria Land, and it pretty much takes the appearance of a place that you used to meet with your friends, like a playground, a gym, a pool house, a tree house, anything like that. This location will make itself known in the level, and it'll make you believe that you're with those friends again. But you won't know it, of course, because it's actually a trick, your friends aren't there, but the level is trying to convince you that you're back with your childhood friends at that place. So do not stay in that location for long, do not interact, whatever you see inside of it. It is not your friends, it is not your family, I repeat, it is not them at all. It is something dark, it is something mysterious, imitating them. To enter this level, you just have to travel too deeply into a memory from level 18 and never leave or escape it. This will trigger your launch into this nightmare, and then you have to go through what I just described. To exit, the level page says you'll hear a really disembodied voice calling to you from a far away, and this will lead you back home. And apparently, that text home is hyperlinked to level 200, which is a horrifying level in and of itself. So I'm not really sure how you would survive this level at all, or if you can. Maybe you just gotta get lucky, I don't know. But yeah, that was level 18.1. It's pretty much just a nightmare that creeps up on you for trying to stay too long in the memories of level 18. You know, level 18 is all about the happiness and the nostalgia and the liminality of your childhood, so I can see why you might want to stay there for too long. But if you do that, it'll eventually get corrupted and these awful things will start to happen to you. Your biggest fears, your phobias, these horrifying environments will form, you know, what's supposed to be nice and calm from your memories will just decay and you'll decay along with it if you don't get out in time. So yeah, that was it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you did enjoy, please drop a like to help the old brooks around. I'd appreciate it. Check out all the links below, like my podcast, my third channel, my Twitter, my Instagram, yada, 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 all that stuff, self-promoting, blah. Brugly Summer Spectacular is on the horizon, by the way, guys. I hope you're happy for it. I cannot wait to go over more levels in order. I know a lot of you love that series. Um, I do too and I'm really excited to see what I can cook up with this. I do hope you enjoy it. Make sure that you turn on the post notice so you can get my notifications. With all that said, thank you for everything. I'll see you later. Peace.